Mixcat News with your host, P. Hey guys, Mixcat. Um, as you can hear in the background, it's a pretty stormy day here in Kissimmee, Florida. Um, what I did was I took off my batteries that I'm charging off the solar just to see what kind of power I get off of my uh, three solar panels that are on the roof and to figure out exactly the current I was getting on a, a really rainy day. All right, this is the panel side. Plug that in. I'm getting pretty steady, about 12.5 DC. On the charging side, 12.3. It drops it down to give 12 volts to the battery to charge it. I have my a DC servo motor on the top here and I'm going to plug it in and this guy takes I want to say about a half amp or so maybe a little bit more. I'll put the spec on the video so you guys can see that but if you look at the top you probably hear it, it spins the motor pretty good with, with these and this is directly from uh, the rainy day outside uh, I'd say probably about 30% of the full light that it should need to generate maximum power. Um, let's, let's test this again. Hopefully you can hear in the background how nasty it is out. Yeah, 12.5 still. It's really not moving much. And again, it's three panels that are up there. And I want to see the total wattage on those guys. I want to say it's about 60. 60 to 75 on the max side on a really bright day. And again, I'll hook up the, the servo motor. Spins that with ease. I have a 12 volt DC light. Yeah, I'll drop this thing. See it says 12 volt in front. Hopefully you guys have a good shot of that. Go right. So again, right off of the solar panels on a nasty day, we got enough power to kick off. This is a five watt light. I believe I got another one kicking around here. Yeah, let me grab that. We'll, we'll make it ten watts and see if it, it holds steady without the battery hooked up. Pop this one in. It is full. Alright, so we, we can see definitely we're at least getting 10 watts out of this. No problem. And again, that's no batteries hooked up. This is directly from the solar on a rainy day. So, very viable solution for power. I'm going to hook this up with um, wind power real soon. I'm looking at getting a scroll cage for that. And I'm probably going to gear it 3 to 1 or 2 to 1. That way, for every one revolution of the squirrel cage, it'll spin the motor two or three times. That way, I get a lot more um, RPM out of the motor, which will give me more voltage coming out of that to charge my batteries. But there's a, a neat little update. Rainy day here in Kissimmee, giving us enough power to spin a half amp, 12 volt DC motor drop down just a little bit. We're 12.47 now on the, the charging side and on the, um, the battery side. All right, 12.3. As the sun kind of peaks in and out, still spins that motor with these. Pretty interesting. But yeah, I didn't know how much solar uh, power I actually had on a rainy day and kind of was curious about it and hopefully this helps you guys out too. If you have any experience in this field and you want to share your expertise, send a, a video comment or post a uh, comment on the, the video. Thanks again and have a great day. Since 1994, save fast and more, our reliable name, mixcat.com.